afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, St. Mary's downtown Lincoln, the historic old cathedral. It's wonderful to be with you as we begin this season of Lent together, this journey uh, through these 40 days. And uh, I'm grateful to Father Joe Walsh, the pastor here, uh, whether you're not from St. Mary's, you probably know, don't know that there's a uh, exciting renovation going on. We're in the second phase of it now, so you might take a look at some of the literature in the back of the church. This is uh, the old cathedral. It's in a certain sense everybody's church, so uh, you might consider uh, helping out a little bit with this exciting uh, renovation here downtown Lincoln. Each year, Holy Mother Church sets aside, as we know, a special season in the liturgical year to prepare us to celebrate more deeply the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in Holy Week and Easter, 40 days from now. Palm Sunday this year is on April 2nd, which begins Holy Week. Good Friday is on April 7th, and Easter Sunday is on April 9th. So we have 40 days to prepare for these high holy days, the highest feast days of the year. And in her wisdom and 2,000 year tradition, the Catholic Church invites us on this day, each year, Ash Wednesday, to deeper prayer, to sacrifice, Fasting, abstinence, meat on the Fridays during this season and today. And almsgiving, deeper generosity, deeper giving. And we need this season in our lives. I need this season in my life. A time to re examine, to reframe my priorities. To repent of my sins, make a good confession, which I'm planning to do this afternoon. To reboot my life, to refocus my mind and heart on these things that really are most important in my life. The love of God, the love of neighbor, the love of family, virtue, goodness. Holiness. We heard in the first reading, even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord calls each one of us because he loves each one of us. We are not defined by our mistakes. We're not defined by our appearances, our imperfections, our achievements. We're not defined by our failures. We are defined by the love of our Creator, who loved each one of us into existence and made and sustains each one of us every day. We are good, even in our woundedness, in our frailty. We're all clay vessels, fragile. This is precisely why he sent his son to be our redeemer and our savior. Nobody makes themselves holy. Nobody makes themselves a saint. Only God can do that. And only God can make us saints. And he wants to do that for each one of us. And that's why he gives us this season. He calls us back into relationship with him. God's love is a, a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We are beloved sons. We are beloved daughters. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus. And in spite of our own weakness and frailty and woundedness,
us, he calls us back. Even now, we heard him. Even now, even after failure, after failure, after failure, of trying, and trying, and trying, he calls us even now back. And he wants our hearts. He wants us back in right relationship with him. Finally, each Lent coincides with spring training in baseball. I think that's neat. Baseball was my favorite sport. My dad played professional baseball, signed a contract with the Yankees right after World War II. Never made it to the bigs. He played in their minor league system. I played until I was 18. And Lent is like spiritual spring training. I know the pitchers and the catchers are down in Florida and in Arizona getting back in shape, you know, practicing, preparing for the season. And Lent is a time to shake off, in a spiritual sense, the cobwebs, to get back in shape spiritually, to practice the disciplines of prayer self-sacrifice, generosity, all these things that uh, we do, that athletes do, that we do as Christians, in order to keep our eye on the ball, to hone our skills, to love as God wants us to love. So let us use this time well on this Ash Wednesday. Let us begin this season right by recommitting ourselves, refocusing, reframing, repenting, and getting back in shape, not solely by our own self-will, although it takes self-will, it takes discipline, it takes decision, but let us just let the Lord do it. Open our hearts to the Lord and let Him come in in a deeper way especially those areas in our life that we kind of keep to ourselves. Let us open those up and let the healing grace of the Lord heal us, strengthen us, and bring us closer to the right relationship with Him. Amen.